Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Soccer Wars, So on my love. Last time, well, Jimmy, Kayama, and Shin start, went to the Metropolitan Museum and checked out the Egypt exhibit. And... I'm sure you can do it! You can do it! I'm here for you, Gemini. You mean it? You really think I can do it? Star Division? Boy, that'd just be great! That'd be just great! That's what I meant to say. <laughs> well, I became a captain in training, so I'm sure you can join the team. Yeah, that's true. If you can do it, it should be easy for me! Uh, wait a second. Well, that's not what I meant. But sure, you have to hope. Do your best, Gemini. Yeah, I will. Watch me rise to the top. Because you're Gemini Sunrise. Get it? Rise? Rise? Okay, anyway. Okay, let's be successful together, baby. Hey, what are you two doing? The Japan exhibit is this way. Oh, yeah, we're coming. Whoa. It's a sword, bro. Pretty intense right there. Really big, like a sword. What's that? Whoa, the demon blade. It's pretty intense. It looks like an extremely ridiculous weapon. It's as if I could feel an ancient aura radiating from it. What an amazing sword! I just love these Japanese swords. If I had me one of them. I got a Japanese sword I can show you, baby. <laughs> oh, okay, anyway. Gemini, are you lost in your own head again? Listen, Shin Girl. Japanese culture has become extremely popular. It's a hip thing. Was it really the 1920s? I can't remember. I don't understand what it means to be Japanese. I know what it means. It means to be as ludicrous and socially unacceptable as possible, right? Okay, wrong, but still. Now that you're training as a captain, you must prove that you too are the real deal. I will Kayama san! When I say the fate of Japan rests on your shoulders. Hmm, foreshadowing? Actually no. But well in a way, maybe, yeah. Kayama. I will defend my samurai honor! Just watch, I'll make you all proud. My boy! This piece is what all true warriors strive for. You're not there quite yet. You know, and, and all the Zelda yeah, all the Zelda CDI quotes I can make, I always make that one. But it's, it's the easiest one to make, because all you have to have is a character say, My boy, and then it's so easy. Like if they were talking about food, I could maybe say, What's for dinner? Or, you know, like I'm so hungry, I can eat an Octorok, or something like that, I mean, I don't know. The people of this great country are hungry for history. America is really? Because, like, everyone I know hates history. I, which is funny, because I actually hope to one day become a history teacher. But, I mean, it's so, it seems like so many people my age just don't like history for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's just because maybe the way it's taught in school. I don't know. I hope I can be a history teacher who might like innovate in the field a little bit. Hopefully, anyway. Yes, sir, Kayama-san. I already spent four minutes staring at this screen, so we better get off of it. Hey, what's that sound? It's coming from you, Shinjiro. Oh. Okay. It's my Cameratron! I forgot I can act like a telephone. That's right, because those were new back in the 1920s. I think. Whatever. Hello, Lieutenant Tiger here! Oh man. Oh, of course, I'll head back right now. Shall we get going then? You have to prepare for the performance, yes? Yeah? Yes, I guess. Yep, Gemini, let's go. Hey, Gemini! Your Highness, you must drop your sword and escape before it's too late. I could never flee, Sandra! It is my duty to defend my family's land and honor! Very well. If you refuse to go, then we shall ride together into the hell. Truly a hero! Oh. 
<laughs> I love Gemini. Oh my god. She's so funny. I think you're daydreaming again. But we have to get back to the theater. Uh, yeah, kinda. So I don't know how she kinda just blows off everything she just said. So long, Kayama. It's been fun. I do like Kayama. He's a pretty decent character. I consider it my duty to educate today's youth! Well then, see you around! You too, Gemini. Take care. I will! Thanks a bunch! Let me know when you guys do something like this again. Hell yeah, baby doll. Alright, Shiny. We should get going too. You're right. This is my first day as captain in training. I can't be late. Then why don't we have a race to the theater? Ready? Go! Don't worry, I don't have to hit any buttons. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay, give me your best shot, Gemini. Bam! Wait, that was quick. Alright, I gotta get to cleaning the theater. Talk to you later. So long! All that rag she wears on her head, it's so cute. Now that it's official, I should go tell everyone that I'm the new captain in training. Oh hey, Tiger! Wait, that's not her voice. I don't even have a voice for her. <laughs> Could you help me out really quick? Sure. I need some help, too! Both of you need help! Well, I guess I can tell them after tonight's performance. What are you doing? Hurry, hurry! We don't have time! Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Jeez! Like, what the hell? That was a quick play. The audience runs in, claps a few times, and leaves. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Whew. Today was really busy, but the audience really seemed pleased. Now I can tell everyone about me becoming the captain in training. But what's the best way to bring it up? They're gonna be so surprised. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Oh, hey, Subaru. Haven't seen you in a while. What's going on, Shinjiro? You look very... upbeat. It's almost creepy. Actually, I have some big news. Is Karen around? She's in the green room. Okay, then you can come with me to the green room? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm talking with... Oh, damn. This isn't gonna end well for us. Who's there? Sh Shin? Ah! Were you changing? <laughs> Get your scrawny ass out of here before I call the police. Um... I didn't know you were changing, I'm sorry! Well, I am, so leave me alone! Stop flapping your lips and get lost! Okay. Oh. Damn. That was surprising. Yes, yes it was. Why is that? It only makes sense that she would change after the show. If you knew she'd be in there, why didn't you say anything? You didn't ask. Yeah, that's what they all say. Oh, the pain he ass. Good job, Subaru. Son of a bitch. Oh, fuck. Prepare to die, Shinjiro. Um, Karen? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. You have the right to an attorney. Do you understand these rights? If so, go ahead. Um, no, I I'm okay. A wise decision. <laughs> Subaru, you're a witness. You saw him spy on me while I was changing, right? Of course. I can't be sure of what I saw. What about you, Shinjiro? It was all a misunderstanding. I didn't intend to see anything. Very well. Let's hold your trial right now. Subaru, you can serve as judge and jury. Very well. Then go ahead with your opening statement, Karen. The defendant, Shindro, snuck into the green room while I, Karen, was changing with no notification whatsoever. 
This did me considerable mental harm. I demand the defendant testify what was said then. Your statement has been heard and accepted, Mr. Tiger. What did you say at this point? Actually, the right answer is none of these, but okay. Well, didn't mean to surprise you. I said, I didn't know you were changing. That's right! So, although it may have been unintentional, the defendant did see my naked body. Well, technically, I didn't really see anything besides your stomach, but... Uh, that seems right, but I didn't mean to. Come on. Shane, that doesn't work in the court of law, buddy. Subaru would note that defendant's intentions are irrelevant at this point. All that matters is the undue stress caused to Karen by being exposed to the defendant. Why do I still keep talking like this? Pretty damn stupid. Exactly, the issue at hand here is that he did in fact view my naked body without my consent. He is responsible for these damages and I am legally entitled to fair compensation. Erg. I just, I just wanted to tell you that I had become the new captain in training. That's no excuse! I will report this to Commander Sunnyside, and then I will take legal action. Oh, God. What? That's not fair! Karen, Shinjiro seems truly sorry for what he did. Can you really not forgive him? I'm sure you can find it in your heart, Karen. That black charcoal tiny ass speck of a heart that you have. If that's how you feel, Subaru, then maybe I won't file the report just yet. I'm really sorry, Karen. Thank you, Subaru. So then, do you have something to say to me? You'd better make it quick. I wanted to talk to you about what made what my plans are for the team from now on. Request denied. Working hours are finished, and overtime is not my contract. Contract? But we're supposed to defend the city. What is a contract matter? Contracts, agreements, and laws are everything here. Try to force me, and you're screwed. Well, yeah, basically. Shinjiro Taiga, you really must take more time to warn the inner workings of our country. What? You sound really ridiculous right now, I agree. Say, Karen, don't you have a meeting with an important client soon? That's right. She's probably waiting for me right now. I have to go. Goodbye. If you screw up like this again, I won't even think twice about hauling you in the court. Uh, <laughs> Karen! I should get going, too. I'd warn against any thoughtless actions in the future. Subaru, I... Thanks for saving me. <laughs> don't worry about it. You don't need to thank me, because... I'm... A torpedo! I saved you for my own sake. I didn't want to be involved in that ridiculousness any longer. Huh? You got off without being sued. That should be enough. Just forget about the whole thing. Uh-huh. Okay, bye Subaru. In that case, I'm going home. Goodbye. Damn. I'm exhausted. Maybe I should head home and get some sleep. Yeah, you could use the Shinjiro. Okay, I've checked to make sure all the doors and windows are locked. Time to head home. Mr. Tiger, might I ask you for a favor? Why, yeah! Please don't sneak up on me like that. My apologies. Could you please deliver this envelope to Miss Archer's law office? The letter came here for her, but it seems she's already left for the day. I sound more like Vegeta than I do an Asian man. Ugh, whatever. I do believe this letter is extremely urgent, so you must deliver it today, in person. So you want me to deliver it? So you want me to deliver it to her myself? I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but... It's fine, it's fine. Her office is over in Harlem. Oh, like I really want to go to Harlem this late at night. Maybe I'd die. Well, I wanted to talk to her about earlier and defend myself a little more anyway. Good, good, thank you. I really appreciate your help. I know, aren't I just a little angel? 
Karen's law office isn't a horrible one, huh? Alright, I'd better get going. Yeah, you probably should. Alright, well, that's good. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still talking, but nothing that really has much substance. Hmm, this place doesn't seem too safe. Where's her office, anyway? Let's just get this over with so I can go already. Alright, let's talk in a normal voice! Is her office around here? SOMEWHERE?! Man, the buildings around here are in really bad shape. That's Harlem. A lot of them look abandoned. Oh shit. Gangsters. Wait, ya! Ay, ya! Jeez, what I do? Hey! What's going on? How'd you get in here? The lookout must have fallen asleep again. You know where they have walkouts in Harlem? Damn. Harlem, dig. This is Harlem, dig. Uh, well, uh, I'm just here to deliver a package to, uh, Karen. Karen? There ain't no Karen here. Why don't you just get lost? Uh, well, you see, uh, but I was told she had her office here. That's the worst thing you could possibly say, Shindro. That's the worst thing you could possibly say. You just say, yes, sir, run away. No. What, you don't like Asians? Is that it? Yeah, that's a good idea. I should probably leave. Yeah. I, I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. I just left. Okay. Alright, I've left. So, that was close. That looks like a game. It's step one normal. What should I do? Should I go back and talk to Mr. Wong? Uh, well, no. Oh, what are you doing here, Shin? Were you just running or... Were you just running or something? Yeah, actually, I just ran here from the entrance to Harlem. Wow, you must be tired. Like, wow, you must be tired. But what are you doing around Harlem at this time of night? I have to drop off this letter at Karen's office. But some punks chased me out. Like, I see. Yeah, like, the people in Harlem, like, are pretty suspicious of, like, strangers. If you need to, like, go to Harlem, you should get someone familiar, like, with the area to go with you. Ah, that's a good idea. I should try doing that. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, anyway, I still have some work to do back in the theater. Good luck, Shin. Yeah, see ya. Bye. Three. I should try to find someone on their way to Harlem. Three guesses as to who that's gonna be. Alright, guys, I'm in the episode here, and next time, we will investigate Harlem. So long.